Alright, welcome back. So, Friday, Eagle Dynamics released 2.8. It's been almost a month since we had an open beta uh, update, and they released 2.8.0.3266 open beta. i um, really excited for this one. There's a ton of changes. There's really too much to cover in one video, in my opinion. I, I want to make uh, multiple videos on this, so right now this one is just going to be the overview of the F-16 additions and changes. Uh, so let's get started. So first thing, the JFS door animation. That was implemented about three updates ago, and the timing wasn't quite right in my opinion. Uh, and I just wanted to check to see if they've adjusted that at all. Uh, and then I also wanted to check something. I checked this on every single update just to see if they've gotten this done. So these hooks here. Nope. So soon, I'm, I'm assuming soon we'll have it. I, I, I've been bugging ED about this. I, I know I've, I've reported it a couple times over the past couple of years, um, but these hooks right here on the canopy, that extra sound you're hearing, and now it starts to open, so you close it, stop, and then push the switch again. All that extra sound, that's these hooks rotating around the mounting points here, and they're, it's on both sides. You have these, these hooks that are going around the mount points and they're locking in and securing the canopy down and then you close the spider hook um, but they never do they're just uh, wide open so I've I've always thought that that should be implemented so maybe that'll come with the tail hook we'll see all right so start two let's try this out all right I'm actually gonna go start one because I want to try a couple things here so we're gonna check out two things so I'm gonna go start one I don't want to blow both bottles so here we go start one just to check the timing of the doors All right, let's uh, let's kill that. So that was great. I, I actually noticed. I don't know. Maybe I was crazy. The first time I reviewed this, it looked like they opened and it spun up at the exact same moment. This time, there's clearly a gap between the doors opening and then the JFS starting. So uh, that's awesome. All right, so let's go JFS start two, and what we're gonna check this time is the uh, ECS inlet scoops logic. Now, um, we've got a couple places where the ECS gets air, but one of them here are these little flappers right here on either side. And we're just gonna check to see what it does. So uh, let's go start two. All right, we're at 20% going over the horn. Added for performance 
mods are a level of detail, so when you have your wingman right next to you and uh, you're flying together in formation, tight formation, uh, you have the highest level of detail. You can see every panel, every rivet, um, and all the textures, and then as he flies further away from you, we go down on level of details so that we're now trying to render every screw, every bolt, every panel, every scratch uh, from like a mile away because you can't see that anyway. So we don't want to be wasting GPU and CPU uh, trying to render that. So they have provided uh, three, four, five, and six levels of detail which will greatly improve performance with the F-16. Wheels are pitch black when not in direct sunlight, so let's take a look at that. And they look yeah, I've, I can actually notice they are no longer pitch black. They actually have like a blue-gray tint to them. They look more rubber, rubber-ish. I like it. Let's go ahead and taxi out for a takeoff. When landing gear is down, CAS should show in the HUD. So what they mean by that is your speed indicator here, your speed ladder on the left side of your HUD. You have a C there, and that indicates calibrated airspeed. You can go down here and set what you want on the HUD, your ground speed, your true airspeed, or calibrated airspeed, and it'll display on your HUD. But with the gear down, no matter what you have selected down here, you're always going to have calibrated airspeed on the HUD. So if you were using that in the past for public servers to make sure that you're not um, exceeding the taxiway speed limit, um, can't do that anymore if you were using the ground indicator up here. Uh, you're going to actually have to go to list and the number six for INS and you can see your ground speed here now. The digital clock DED page and used for all systems and important for TOT, TOS is time on target, time on station is not synced with DCS. So uh, to check that, just hit number six, and that'll take you to your time page in the DED. We have 12.53, 15 seconds. We got 16.53, 12.53. That is correct. We're about, I think Persian Gulf about, uh, if we're talking Zulu time, I think Persian Gulf is uh, four hours off. So that is, looks like it's synced up. GPS and DL switch overlap. So I'm not sure what they mean by this. The uh, data link switch and the GPS switch are right here. They don't really overlap visually, so I'm assuming that means overlap in logic. Maybe, I, I'm not sure. I've always turned them on, so maybe one turned on the other and the other one turned the, the other one on. I, I'm not sure what they mean by overlap. Nose wheel sinks into grass and never recovers. This has been something that I've seen a hundred times, especially on public service. Uh, newer guys on the 16 that haven't flown it before uh, don't know how to land it properly and land way too fast Go over the threshold at the end of the runway and into the grass and they are done. There's no way to get out. You're completely stuck So let's try this out. <laughs> we're gonna do some <laughs> We're gonna suck up some rocks here. Here we go Let's do some off-roading right, Stop in the dirt <laughs> All right, we can off-road in the 16 now. Oh, <laughs> uh, the amount of fod just sucked up all kinds of sand and sticks and rocks. All right, cool. So you're not going to get stuck in the grass anymore. So, uh, yeah. Moving on. Anti-collision lights reflect on the ground even with missing lights. So I'm assuming this means uh, that if you had damaged wingtips and they weren't there, you were still getting the green glow and the red glow underneath. I'm not really sure uh, what they mean by that. So if you know, let us know in the comments below. ECM light still shows yellow standby even without the jammer pod present. Let me line up here and we'll take a look at that real quick. All right, as you can see, I just have a centerline fuel tank. We're going to standby and everything is still off. Operate nothing. Awesome. I did notice that, so that is now fixed. Set trim at takeoff using HOTUS. Trim resets after takeoff. So it's, uh, we're going to do a roll here. There we go. So I'm going to roll left. Let's give it a try. I'm 
I'm rolling. No reset, still trimmed. Yep, oh yeah. So let's center that out again. All right, fixed. First IFF, identify friend or foe, scan returns limited response. So I'm not really sure what that means, but we'll give it a try here. All right, so we're gonna try this out. Uh, TMS left long for line of sight, should pick up both. And then TMS left short for a scan. And good, so I'm assuming that means if you're like in a multiplayer server and got a lot of targets, a lot of contacts on the radar, uh, scan would, uh, which is the TMS short, would uh, sometimes not bring back everything, I'm not really sure. If you know, let us know in the comments below. NCTR, non-cooperative target recognition mode indications, so we'll try that. Uh, try this one right here. Single target track, gotta be within 20 degrees of azimuth and elevation, which I don't think I have on this target. And nose on or nose to tail is fine. TMS left long, A10. Nice, you have to have an STT, single target track on that. Next, all right, so we got a couple things we're gonna try here. We have the spotlight mode, should require a long press. So we're gonna, this works if they're trying to jam you. TMS up long. Turns on spotlight, just kind of concentrates your radar radiation, and usually that'll get you past their jamming sometimes, not all the time. Missing AF pull indication for AIM 120 on the FCR page. TTI and TTA removed, that's your timed impact, uh, is removed from the HUD when the last missile is launched, which sucks because that was happening. After the last missile, you didn't know your timed impact, so we're gonna try that. So, lock here and lock here. All right, so there's our TTI, time to impact, eight seconds, and we have the F-pole on the FCR. Cycle to the next target, we're gonna launch our last two AMRAMs. And you can see, I have no more AMRAMs and I still have my TTI, 16 seconds. AIM-120 AMRAM would still receive telemetry even if the radar's off. I can't, I can't imagine being an ED uh, uh, developer. Like, it's gotta be so frustrating. You finally fix all these bugs and then a new one comes across your desk and it says, someone tried to launch an AMRAM without their radar on and it still worked. It's like, ah, oh, now I gotta fix something that should never have been tried anyway. Like, who's launching an AMRAM without the radar? I don't know, maybe there's a specific scenario for this, I don't know, but I can just imagine being the dev being like, are you kidding me? I gotta fix this? Uh, anyway, all right, so uh, moving on. In the FCR air-to-air -air TWS mode, the targeting pod would only track the first air target that has been fixed. So let's try that out. We're gonna go to air-to-air -air mode, go to the FCR, we're gonna change it to TWS. Come over here, we're gonna select one we don't, uh, a page we don't have, select it again, hit TGP, and we're in air-to-air -air mode. Let's go to narrow and white hot. Let's get some more contrast so we can see. All right, we already got a contact out here. We got two contacts, let's build those track files. All right, select them, and we're gonna cycle through. So that first one looks like, that looks like an A-10. Cycle to the next one, TMS right, C-130, TMS right, A-10, TMS right, 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 awesome. So that is fixed. In dogfight, CAS should show in HUD. So we're gonna go here and change this to true air speed. So up here you can see a T indicating that true air speed is being displayed. And I'm gonna hit the dogfight switch. Here we are. And as you can see, we've got C, which indicates CAS, calibrated airspeed. Come out of dogfight, back to true airspeed, because that's what I got selected down here. All right, data link tracks, randomly not showing an HSD FCR in multiplayer. That was a big one in multiplayer servers. Uh, we would have uh, data link targets here that would just not show up, or some that would just disappear. We had ghosts. It was uh, frustrating. I think that's what they're re uh, referring to. At least I hope so. Uh, it'd be nice to have that fixed. Maximum G value reset doesn't work when pressing drift CO to warn reset. All right, so we have our max G right here. I've pulled four Gs in this flight at some point. So you can see if I 
a little bit more than that. Now it's at 5.3 down there on the bottom left. If you want, you can reset that, and then you couldn't before, and now you can. So we hit more and reset, and now it's back to one. And pull up a little bit. All right, 3.3, more and reset, back to one. All right, emergency jettison should require a one second to press. All right, so your emergency jettison button is right here. We're gonna try this out, one second press. So for me, that was instantaneous. So I'm not really sure if you're supposed to get it immediately or after the one second has passed. Maybe that wasn't implemented. Uh, kind of like the gun. Uh, the gun gas purge door animation was released a couple uh, versions ago and it wasn't there. And they called that out. They uh, actually announced it. Hey, there was technical difficulties. We weren't able to uh, release it as promised. It was in the list, but it didn't actually show up. Like, he pulled the trigger and the door wouldn't open. So, but that was a few updates ago. Let's try it out, make sure that, uh, let's see if it actually works now. All right, so let's try this out. Gun gas purge door is right here. So I hope this helps explain a few things in the F-16 change log, uh, if some of you were confused about them. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.